I'm Captain Sarah Harrard. Today, we're going to take a virtual tour of the National Maritime Center's website. But before we do, let me explain what the National Maritime Center, or NMC, actually is. The NMC is located in Martinsburg, West Virginia. The purpose of the NMC is to issue credentials to merchant mariners. The team of people at the NMC cover a broad range of topics. Medical evaluators review your physical exam and qualification evaluators review your application to assess your professional qualifications. The NMC is also responsible for sending out letters to test if you're required to do so, and ultimately, they're the ones who send you your Merchant Mariner credential in the mail. Here's a quick overview of the application process. This diagram comes from a document called the Coasties Guide to the Merchant Mariner Credential. I'll provide a link to this at the end of the video. After you apply for your TWIC and submit your application form for your license or rating to a regional exam center, your application will be verified by the REC and then they will send it on to the National Maritime Center for processing. Your application will be reviewed by an evaluator and you'll be contacted if there's anything missing. Once your application is approved and you have taken tests if they're required for the license or rating, then your credential will be printed and mailed to you. Let's go to the NMC homepage. The website address is long because the site is hosted by the Department of Homeland Security. I recommend typing National Maritime Center into your search engine. The NMC website can be overwhelming because they are trying to share so much information with you. I'll cover some of the most useful and important aspects of the website but I recommend you spend time exploring it on your own later. There are six very useful buttons on the left side of the homepage. The live chat function allows you to connect with real people at the NMC help desk. If you contact them outside of office hours, your question will be logged and you'll receive a reply to your email in the next few days. I highly recommend using this chat function. Be patient and polite. The person at the other end is there to help. You can also call the NMC during office hours and talk to a real person. The Frequently Asked Questions section provides useful background on a variety of topics. The e-submission button takes you to a detailed guide for how to electronically submit your application packet. The Videos section provides YouTube videos that walk you through completing various application forms. Now, let's look at the checklist section. These checklists provide up-to-date information about what qualifications are needed to obtain different levels of license or rating. For example, let's imagine you want to get your AB for international trips. First, you will go to the deck rating section, because AB is a rating endorsement, not an officer endorsement. Then, you'll go to the STCW ratings. These are the international qualifications. We will open the STCW Able Seafarer deck checklist. Checklists are internal documents used by the NMC evaluators to ensure that all requirements are reviewed and met for the credential you have requested. The NMC puts the checklist on their website to provide guidance to mariners so that you know what you need to submit for a complete application. Now we will move on to the examination section. There are no exam requirements to get your OS, but if you intend to work towards higher ratings or officer endorsements, you will be required to take exams. This page provides information about taking exams at the Regional Exam Center. One very helpful item on this page is the Sample Exam section. You can actually pull up a sample exam so that you can see what type of material you need to study for. Now we will go to the Fees section. This is a brief section that provides instructions for using pay.gov to pay your fees. Whenever you submit an application for a license or rating, you'll be required to pay evaluation fees. To save money, you should apply for as much as possible at the same time. You'll only be charged one evaluation fee. For example, if you have enough C time, you can apply for a master's license and an AB using the same application. You will also save money when it comes to the examination and issuance fees because again, they won't double charge you. That being said, if you want your AB and don't want to wait to accumulate another 180 days of C time for your master's license, 
then you should apply for your AB now so that you can use it to get the job you want. Now we will look at the form section. This is where you can download any of the needed forms for applying for a credential. For your OS, you will be using form CG719B, as well as the application for medical certificate for entry-level ratings, form CG-719K-E. Next is the medical certificate section. As of 2018, the NMC has completed a transition from their old method of reviewing medical information to a new method that is standardized to international requirements. This transition caused confusion for a while, but hopefully this page provides the info you need to keep your medical certificate updated. Now we will go to the Merchant Mariner Credential section. This provides a helpful overview of the credentialing process. I recommend spending more time on this page to get an understanding of the route that your application will take through the NMC as it is evaluated. I'm going to skip down to the training and assessment section. Here you can find a list of training courses that have been approved by the NMC. This is helpful when you're looking for a school to take a class at, such as basic training. We have covered a lot of information on the NMC website. But if you still have questions, remember that you can use the live chat function on this website at any time. Thanks for watching this video.